Mariah, do you want oatmeal for breakfast or eggs or anything? No, I want cereal. But you had that like three days in a row. All right, whatever. Wait, don't say whatever. Here, baby. It's cold, so zip this up. When I'm at home with my daughter, I'm a normal mom. Good morning. Hey, Thad. Good morning. Hey, Anton. Raya, morning. Good morning. But when I leave to go to work, my world changes. I'm not only a full-time mom, I own the biggest bail bond company in the state of New York. The reason why I usually have bodyguards with me is because I don't always get people out of jail. There's a good amount of times where I got to put people back in jail, and not everybody's a big fan of that. You have best buddies today after school? I know. Well, people, like, when they only know the bail bond queen, they really just get intimidated. Can you slow down, moron? OK, it's a school zone, dick. Oh. But really, she's just one of these caring, sweet people who you can go to for anything. Oh, excuse you, Mr. Bus. All right, baby, you have a great day, OK? And nobody loves you more than your mama, OK? All right, I'll see you later. Yes. Trisha, make sure she goes to the crossing guard, please. I love Michelle. Michelle's my family, my friend. And, and, and I walk with my life when I'm walking with Michelle. And I started my business because I was a single mother from public assistance. What inspired me to get off of public assistance was eight green eyes looking at me and going, now what are you going to do? Well, I just looked back with my green eyes and I said, watch what I'm going to do. I got myself a job at a bail bond office. I learned how to run the whole place within a week, and the rest is bail bond history. I called yesterday. 7,000 people called yesterday. Who are you? It's gotten to be much bigger than I ever imagined. Get the phone! You're going to get remanded. You know what that means, right? No bail. For a woman in my industry to succeed at this level of gaming is unheard of. How are you, Officer Friendly, sir? I got one coming back. Empire has six locations in New York. There is no bigger bail bond company, period. I believe in being a law-abiding citizen. You know, you wake up, you do what you got to do, you go to work, you abide by the laws of the land, and you accept the consequences thereof. One-on-one on one is two in America. Nobody ever gave me anything in my life. I built this empire from the ground up, and I created a legacy that's going to last to the end of time. And when it's time, my kids will take over. I'm team black sheep, team misfit, and that's what empire is. The underdog is the one that needs the chance. And much of the time, the people that I give these chances to stay with me for the rest of their lives. Oh, Hi, what are you here for? Oh, no. Then can you get off your phone and take your hat off for me? You want to read that sign for me this morning? I'd appreciate it. I have rules when you come into Empire Bell Bonds. No hats, no hoodies, no do-rags, no friends, no cell phones. The hoodie and the do-rag, I mean, if you don't take your hat off, how do I know it's not your brother? And this is uh, Michelle. Hi. They're going to bail out her son. You get arrested, see a judge, and bond is set. Are you aware that this is a $300,000 matter? What it means is that when he was arraigned, the judge saw fit to set $300,000 worth of bail on this case. I mean, that's a lot of money. So it's like you're walking into a bank and saying, can you lend me $300,000? And the banker would say, sure, I can lend you $300,000. But what do you have to back it up with in the event of default, right? And that's what a bail bond is. So you're coming in here, in essence, and asking me to lend you $300,000, which I have the ability to do. How much is it to really get him up today? How much, you, how much is it? You need 15 grand, and you need collateral. You need a lot of collateral, much more so than you have. So, OK, can she use her car? Do you have a Bentley convertible that's completely paid off? I feel bad for the woman. I felt bad for them, because on a mom level, I feel bad. I mean, her son is locked up. I get it. I mean, God forbid that would happen. I'd crack my son's legs like a chicken bone. So you your print date? Let me see her for a second. I know. Let me see her. Hey, Mommy Lita. Hi. You want to stay here with me? I spoke to your mommy from jail. Your mommy's going to come home today, OK? I'm going to get your mommy out of jail, OK? So I don't cry about it. I can clearly tell, to be honest with you, just by speaking with her on the phone, okay. collect from jail, yeah. that she's she she's not accustomed to being in that environment. She's scared I, out of her you mind. You actually bailed me out a few times. I, uh -huh. I was younger. I was a bad, bad kid. I tried and then what happened? You saw her. the light? <laughs> yeah, I've been good and clean six years. And, you know, I'm just doing my thing. Good morning. 
I'm here. Doing, yeah. I come to audit the files. Oh, great. Wendy is my niece. She runs the money for the business. My job at Empire is to run the Suffolk office. Michelle has no idea what I do. Do you want me to discuss with you what's going on with the banking issues? Oh, it sounds scary. I really don't even want to get involved. Basically, she doesn't care what I do. You want to go file by file? Or... No. Just no. As long as nothing's being turned off, Michelle doesn't care how things get done. Nothing pisses me off more than the phone ringing more than three times. Because if the phone rings more than three times, the consumer's going to hang up, and I just lost money. If the phone rings more than two times, I'm going to have somebody's fingertips, OK? Answer the phones! Empire Bell Bonds, may I help you? Hey, Michelle. Hey. What's going on? How you been? Thanks for calling me at 5.30 this morning. Oh, well. When somebody fails to appear in court, I immediately call my bounty hunter staff and we decide the best course of action. Well, what happened was this specific defendant, um, Rodolfo Umana, was an empire revoke for being non-compliant. It's a $10,000 bail bond. He's running from the cops. He's running. He has a warrant. Uh, he'd been arrested a couple of times and uh, he's running from parole. They want to give him five years probation and uh, I think it's 60 days in jail. He owes the state time. Yes. Yeah, violation, see? It is not about the size of the bond. I'm going to find Umana, whether it's $10,000, $20,000, $1, $10. It's about the fact that you think you're going to warrant on one of my cases and get away with it. The street credibility is what matters to me. Who put up his bail for him? His uh, sister-in-law, brother's wife. The brother told me straight out, you're not going to find him. That he's going to run, he's not going to go to court. The one that said that was his you brother. You like when they say that. <laughs> I know, I was just going to say, that sounds like everybody, <laughs> his right? His brother. Catch me if you yeah, can. Yeah, catch me if you can, right? <laughs> Michelle is known by everybody. She's a great person, though. Uh, but if she's coming after you, she's going to find you, and you're, you're done. And I need the street to know, especially in that area, that if they with us, if they think about jumping, we're going to jump back. And we're going to jump back hard. Wherever they think they are, we're coming. We got a tip from a neighbor that Umana is squatting in a house, in a greenhouse down the block. Boy, we got to watch the fun. Gotcha. We kind of know what we're up against. It's the unknown of these houses that we don't know anything about. That's the scary part, and that's when we're on high alert. The hopes are good that uh, this is the right address. If not, we're going to stake this place out, and uh, we'll bring uh, the body back to Michelle. We got it. He's running. He's running. Yo. 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 Stay right there. Stay right there. Bro. Yo. We got it. He's running. He's running. He's running. Where you see him, man? He's running. He's running. He's running. I hate guys that run so much. It's tough. And it's dangerous, too. Hey, boy. Jump in the vehicle. Let's drive around. Yep. Well, he's around here. All right, I got to make a phone call to Michelle. She needs to be updated. She's going to kick my ass. Hey, how's it going? We got some good information. We went across the street to an unknown address. He was squatting there. Uh, we had a run around the front door, and we're searching for him now. We got the team scouring several blocks right now, and that's where we stand, OK? A lot of my crew I met because I helped getting them out of trouble. You know, the bond between my crew is forever deep. Empire Bell Bonds, Empire Bell Bonds. Ilway is like the mayor of Hempstead. Like the Bell Bonds Flyers? He's a very good promoter. Everybody likes Ilway. What's up, baby? How are you? I mean, I hit these streets like uh, like the Daily News. I'm out here with all kind of flyers, all kind of Empire Bell Bond merchandise, so we could just be the main object, you know? Like we the, like we the one and only. How are you? Ivy's a senior agent. She runs Nassau County. She's an exceptional bail agent. One of the first African-American female bail agents in New York. Those people are coming, those lawyers are coming to take them out to lunch and whatnot. And, um... Who are we taking them to lunch? But here's the oh, thing. Okay. Only me and Ivy are going. You don't need a, uh, uh, a G show? Well, I mean, you, you can come in that way, but you really, you know, you're not going to be able to sit with us. <laughs> then I don't want to go. 
is stupid. Why well, I can't go? You're going to go. You're Are you just... getting upset because you're not going? No, I just want to know why you get to go places and I can't go. Pat and Ivy have a relationship kind of like a sister-brother, kind of sister-sister relationship. They're very jealous of each other, like two-year-olds. Fuck, they going out and not me. Trisha, come on. I got to take her somewhere. Take her. I don't want to go. Pat's very sensitive. She starts crying about certain stuff, and we just have to take that into consideration because that's how she is. Ha! This is the money for the office for lunch. They can get lunch on their own. I don't want no lunch. What's the matter? Uh, nothing. I don't want no lunch. So Patricia, what are you we're like gonna it? we're gonna be right back. Okay. So, you guys will get something good to eat, okay? I left you. It's Friday. You guys will order okay. in. Okay. Okay. I'm very concerned about the health of my staff. Few of them have high blood pressure and weight issues. So I definitely have rules in the office about food. No fish, it stinks. No artery clogging foods, not happening. No extra candy. You want to have a nice lunch, you have a salad, maybe, you know, a little white chicken or some tuna, something like that. You don't need to be eating like, um, you know, it's the last supper. Food and you ain't want nothing. You all in food Shut now. Shut the hell up, because Wendy bought it. Oh, I my mean, God. God. I bought it. Yeah. I come here to order files. I don't come here to get a headache. Can I get my food, baby girl? With all you of this potato me, salad. You gotta one of these. With all of this greens and They only gave you one chip. Fish. You ain't, you ain't mad at us no more? I don't even mad at y'all before if you don't want to mad at um, Michelle and um. I'm not mad at Jamie. I just ain't want to No, once you tell me you want to go. Why you ain't want to go? And yeah, now... you cried like a baby, and in, <laughs> and seen. That is some real old. What are you eating? Nothing. Wait a minute. What did you? Does he have fish? Yeah, I told Anton! you. Ooh, I told you. Ooh, got fish. Come on! I told you not to f get fish. It stinks like a bakalahua house in here. Whenever I leave, it's like, oh, she's not here. You know, everybody run and get the fried chicken, get the macaroni and cheese. I hope you don't have cornbread. Oh, you see this? You can't eat this, y'all. No, 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 Trisha, you shouldn't be eating. You uh, cannot eat none of this food. I swear you can't. You guys don't understand is that you have to eat healthier for you. You want your bodies to stay strong Listen, for I... you when you reach my age. I got you. Yummy. Yeah, I got him on a street corner. I might want to roll. I gotta go. Uh, we're gonna have to pounce on this guy. He's riding a bicycle, hanging out on the street corner, so. I don't go on every single bounty hunt. This guy, Umana, he's disrespectful to the whole process. He has no regard for the court system. So for that reason alone, I'm gonna lock his ass up. I'm smelling a f yellow and black sweatshirt. I'm smelling yellow and black bicycle, dude. That's what a yellow bike there. A bicycle? A bicycle. Yellow bike. Turn around. Dwight, pull over on the right. You stay in the car with Michelle. No, I don't sit in the car. I get out of the car. My Brooklyn comes out. My Brooklyn is in my feet. My Brooklyn's coming through my ankles, my thighs, my belly, my hands. And if you're from Brooklyn, you'll know what that means. Is that your bicycle? Yeah, is that your bicycle? That's yours? Take off your eyeglasses. Take off your sunglasses, man. Yeah, take it off. No, right? Let me get a slice of pizza real fast, real fast. Just give me one, real fast. I don't care if it's hot or cold. I gotta eat something. All right, I'll put up there, The owners of that store, that beverage store, mm -hmm. they want a picture of Umana. Okay. So if we don't get him, I'm just saying. But I love how you f up that bike like that. <laughs> I'm right behind you. So I'm gonna get the front. Somebody's up there. What's up, bro? Have you seen him? Yeah. Well, the other day when I touched him, the last time. Okay. All right. Keep us posted, right? All right, thanks. So this is the guy. If you see him, you know, just please give us a call, all right? He's wanted. Don't worry, we'll find him. Me and the guy is gonna hunt him 24 7.
tell mommy how how was school today and stuff. Schoolish. Schoolish. Yeah. Oh God, I cannot wait to get out of these clothes. I feel like a Barbie doll. How was work? Work was workish. You're gonna steal my line? Yeah. Usually when I get home from work at the end of the day, the best possible thing I get to see is my beautiful daughter and my fantastic dog. It's a very kind of regular world when I get home. It's a switch of a hat, but it's not really that difficult for me to do. Okay, then. Intruder alert. <laughs> Lola, come. How that come on. Again? Uh, yeah. Oh. Come on. Hi, Cassidy. You better not piss and in my house. Listen, they're old ladies. If they piss and it is Give what it is. is. Wendy's like a giant chaotic storm that comes through my house on a daily basis. Look, she's such a good girl. She did her diaper. Hey, Look at this. Look. Oh, Havana. Oh, it's like a piss fest. Really? The other Ooh, way. Someone pooped, I think. Oh. Oh, you already? Are you kidding? It's really, really. I mean, I get that you're used to living in. Land, but I'm not. That's why they have okay. diapers. That's why we you know use what I mean? diapers with these princess girls. They're so pretty. If the princesses have to pee or poop in the house, then that's what they will do. And whether Aunt Michelle likes it or not, it is what it is. Our family birthdays are coming up. What are Woo! we gonna? <laughs> Woo -woo! Why don't we just do something like really kind of fun but small this year? Yeah, but you don't think we're gonna offend our friends because it's always this big thing. You don't think they're gonna get offended and be like, well, "What's going on?" Fungal to the friends. You can't. They can't get invited to every single thing. We'll just have a nice family dinner and we'll be normal. So that means we have to socialize with the Since family. Since when are we normal? Two. Bail bonds. Can you say empire before I rip your teeth out? Empire bail bonds. I'm the generation with the phone, and you're on it more than I am. What do you want me to do? I gotta pay for this house. Friendly neighborhood bail bond lady, huh? All right, guys, keep your eyes open up here on the left. Let's bear fight before we hit high. Right now, Umana knows that we're here. Our biggest fear is that he's going to leave the area. Hey, T, call the store owner. Tell him to look out the window and let us know if that's him. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay, I'll talk. Let's go. 10-4, yeah. 10, four, yeah, 10 four. Got it? Got it? What's in? Go ahead, go, 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 go. Let me see your head. Don't move. Put your hands behind your back. What's your name? What's your name? Ernesto. Look your face up. Look your face up. That's a positive ID. Let's go. That's a positive ID. All right. Rock and roll, baby! Michelle's going to love us. That's the best feeling. Forget about putting the guy in jail and stuff. The best feeling, giving Michelle her birthday present. We're going to walk him upstairs. And then we're going to walk him across to the courts, all right, buddy? Have a seat right here, man. Oh, wait a minute. What do we have here? Mr. Umana. You're a runner, huh? You think you're running, huh? Is that what you think? You're not going to speak to the queen? You're not going to speak, right? You're just a little too busy hiding? Let's get him in the car. Oh, yeah, where's the shirt? Gear him up properly. Mm -hmm. So finally, we got him, put the T-shirt on him, turned him into a walking billboard, and it's victory. The bail bond queen always gets her, man. We're going to find you under a rock. We're going to find you any way you think you're going to hide. That's where we're going to be looking. OK, we're right here, Chickalese. Now I can really just celebrate our birthdays and have a great time with my family. My mom's work family, I just know all of them as family, not as just people who work for my mom. And like, we're all just a one big extended family, I guess you could say. I just want to say to you guys that I could never do what I do on a daily basis without any of you. And I love you guys with all my heart. And I love you guys. Salud. Empire Bail Bonds. How much is your bond? What do you want from me? Unfortunately or fortunately, I do work 24-7 all the time. <laughs> Mom. Mom. Can you get off the phone? No. Okay, we're trying to have a family dinner. 
definitely hate that phone. Like, it just causes so much problems. I just want to, like, throw it on the ground and, like, step on it or, like, throw it in, like, a river or something and never see it again. I'm going to try, but I can't make you any promises. No, you're not holding it for me. Everybody's always trying to take my phone away from me all the time, especially Mariah. But if I don't have my phone, I ain't paying for dinner. Anybody know this number? Give me the phone. Give me the phone. Give me the phone. I mean, when I snatch your weave off. Yes, it is. OK, the phone is down, OK? Just put the dinner on her credit card. Thank you.